Good morning, folks. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here at Elk Knob State Park near Boone, North Carolina. Uh, this is at an elevation of 4,500 feet where I'm doing the summit trail. Uh, takes you up to 5,500 feet and I gotta tell you, it is already extremely cold out. I was gonna do an overnight last night in the Pisgah Ranger District, but I boarded my plans uh, partly because of the extreme cold weather that's moved into the state. And uh, my dashboard on the car said 11 degrees at this point, so it's only gonna get colder as I ascend. I think if I remember correctly, the high temperature for uh, Boone was gonna be about 37 a day. So it will definitely be colder on the mountain summits, but I'm gonna show you around a little bit here because this is supposed to have really good views here. Um, there's already snow on the ground, as you can see. There's my car. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that summit trail right by the car. So stay with me. I'll show you everything I can and uh, hopefully it'll warm up here as I'm going. All right, here we go. I gotta tell you, it's hard to record. I have to take my glove off in this extreme cold. I'll do what I can here, so I'll show you guys around. A lot of ice on the trail. I'm gonna walk fast so I can get the blood circulating and warm up. So they have these mile markers on the summit trail as you're going up. You can see the trail is well laid out here, albeit the snow and ice, which makes for treacherous going, but I'd say it was well maintained. However, the park staff is limited right now because of COVID and uh, employee shortages, so a uh, shortage of staff, that is. But anyway, it's going to be a beautiful day, albeit the wind chills, testing my tolerance for the cold. So we'll carry on and see how we go check that view out man i'm not even to the top yet i'm about a mile in 5117 feet in elevation and still climbing you see there's uh, blue diamonds on the trees spaced apart every uh couple tenths of a mile give or take so i'm more frequent down below but you can't, you can't go wrong with this trail. So you might be wondering how I walk in snowy, icy conditions like this on the trail. Well, very carefully for one thing. Brought my trekking poles, but I have the wrong tips. So they only come in handy where I can touch uh, ground that's not icy or covered with snow, unless the snow is not frozen over. But I try to walk where the ground has already thawed or I'll walk on the wooden boards or rocks or go over there. Anyway, step carefully because it's not worth an injury. You just take your time if you come out here in the winter time and the trails are in this condition. It's not worth an injury. And uh, so the trail crosses the road in places too. Like right here is this old forest road. Very icy over here, so I gotta take my time. summit view of Elk Knob. It's always good to have these signs to get you to know what you're looking at.
is. Various islands in that area. So, forgot to mention that I uh, brought my Merrells for this uh, winter excursion. Instead of my Hoka's, I felt like I needed some boots. Because I knew the trail conditions were going to be like this because I looked it up. And uh, boots offer you more support, you know. So here's the south view. There's Snake Mountain on the right. And the left is Rich Mountain. Looking out at Sugar Mountain, Hanging Rock. All the way over there is the Black Mountain Crest. Mitchell on the left, a far distant um, system of peaks. That's Grandfather Mountain right there. Don't you see the sign a little bit? <clears throat> That's why I was going by the sign. Faster progress going down the mountain. I'm walking on the side of the road here in the snow, and it's pretty deep. Um, yeah, because I'd rather do this than slip in ice. So. How deep it is. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys that walking down as fast as I can without hurting myself.